Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Let's Code with me, your host, Kyle. Today, we're going to be doing a random password generator, as you just saw, and you can specify how long and, and, and if it has special characters and, and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So let's just get right into it and, uh, and start up. So you'll notice that I have Challenge 5 already done, and I've done uh, ABC and Special, which because I didn't know what else to call it. And that's basically just the, the character arrays that I had before with all the special characters and the alphabet that we did for this, the uh, cipher. So yeah, we use that in this uh, just to generate the random password. First thing is first, I'm going to show off this class here, the password class. This is our first multi-class project. So that's exciting. Basically, because I'm generating multiple passwords, more than one, I end up just having a array of the password class in the main class here. And each password is going to have the password, how long it is, what the password is for. And then it's going to have a static variable, which we haven't really talked about yet. And I know I said this isn't really a tutorial series, but basically, if you don't know, um, static variables mean no matter which instance of password it is, these three are always going to be different. Well, not always, but they could be different. But amount of passwords is always going to be the same. So we just every time we make a new password, we add one to amount of passwords, just so we can use that in the main class over here. All right. So let's just get started here and take a look through the code. Now, you'll notice I have two scanners here, and I'm not sure like, like why I have to do this, but if I just use the, the same one scanner each time, it messes up with with this, and, and the whole program just kind of doesn't work properly. Now, like I said, I'm not a, uh, a good coder by any means. This is just my adaptation of, of the challenge. But if anyone knows why that is or, or a way to get around that, I would really appreciate it. I've tried like scanner.reset and stuff, but it hasn't really worked. And then we have random rand, which is just a random class, how we generate all the random things here. You'll see rand.nextint and, and all that. I'll explain that in a minute. And then we have how many and how long. So how many is how many passwords there are and how long is how long each, like you saw earlier. And then we have the password array. So this is how many passwords you're going to have, and then it will set that up. And then we have two other arrays. These are both string arrays, and I suppose I could just uh, do that, make it a little easier. So we have a string array uh, for what for each, and then include special uh, yes or no, and we deal with that in a minute. Then we have custom cars, use me equals new custom cars, uh, characters, cars, whatever. And like I said earlier, that's just the alphabet and all the special characters that we have programmed in. And then to deal with all that, I, I have in my build path here, um, build path, and you'll see that I'm linking the ABC and special project in the build path here, which I'm not sure if it would compile properly, but if we were going to actually compile this, um, then we would export the ABC and special and then put that in the, the same class with it. So that's how we reference the um, alphabet and special characters here with the custom cars class. Then we just start up a new instance of main and we initialize our scanners and the random class and then we start asking questions to the user. So how many passwords do you want to generate? We store that in a how many variable. Simple stuff like episode one. Then how long? Same thing. And then here we have pass equals new password how many which is basically just initializing how big the array of passwords needs to be. And we also do the same thing with uh, for what and include special. Then we have a for loop here for how many. And for each instance, we have what's the password for. Then we initialize it so that it does the string does not start out as null. So it just starts like that. And then we just add to that whatever the user says the password is for. And then we do the same thing here with uh, include special characters, yes or no. And then we just we save it as uh, Y or N for yes or no. Now we have, this is the first instance, I believe, that we've seen of a nested for loop. 
So it's uh, it's a little confusing for every one time this this runs, then this will run um, however like long the password is. So I mean it's not that bad, but it's just it, you have to wrap your head around it. It's a little strange. So basically, we start off with new pass is equal to um, nothing, just not null. So we have that. And then for how long, for how long the passwords have to be, we basically run, uh, we put a new random number between uh, either one or two. So if it is one, this is if, um, I believe this is one is the special characters. Yes, okay, so if, if we want to include special characters, then it will run this code here, right, between here. And then if not, it'll run this code. So if it does include special characters, then it will choose a random number between one or two. And if it is one, then it chose the, the alphabet here. And then it will choose another random number um, between one or two. And if it's uh, one, uh, it chooses an uppercase number. If it's two, it's lowercase. And basically, then it, uh, it chooses a random letter in the alphabet um, and just assigns, it adds to the string that we initialized up here, the, the letter whether it be uppercase or lowercase, I just do uh, character dot two string, and then here we can use the character dot two uppercase method to be able to use the uppercase. Special characters, basically the same thing. We just use a random special character from the special characters array, and then we just add it to the string. If we don't collect, uh, if we don't use special characters, I should, I should say, then we do the exact same thing, just don't include special characters. Then I just have it here saying that I'm, I'm done with the how long loop, and then we assign password i, right? So the for the first iteration, depending on how many passwords you have, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever, then it says password i, the current that we're on, uh, is equal to new password and then for what we save in the array uh, like up here that we have because we have a list of uh, for what that matches the amount of how many passwords we have so it works out well for that so we do new password for what how long and then new pass is the string that we saved up here then we have the end of the main loop and then we just list off all the passwords here at the very end uh, as you remember from the start of the video, whenever we do this. So it'll say what for, and then it'll put what the user puts, and then it'll put a, I'm not sure what this is called actually, it's the, the sign above the enter key, if you put uh, shift and then that. And then it does password, and it actually tells you the password, which here in this case it generated 1, or L I should say. We don't have numbers uh, in our special characters, but uh, we might want to do that sometime. I don't know. So yeah, that's everything. That's a uh, that's a much simpler program than than last time. And next one's a little bit simple too, but but we should be able to get to, to some more complicated stuff soon enough. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to let me know. If you didn't, also feel free to let me know. I'd, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and have a good day.